Ontario needs its forests now more than ever as we adapt to the challenges of population and climate change. Scientists and foresters are telling us we need more canopy cover for temperature control, more younger forest for carbon sequestration, and veteran trees as genetic repositories, and so on. We don't just need our existing forests, we need more forests in new places, in cities, towns, and backyards. And we need new stewards to protect and manage these forests in our future. Most Ontarians could be forgiven for considering forestry strictly a remote or rural issue, because that's where forests are. At least that's what we've assumed in the past. Now, more of us are realizing that our cities are also forests, forests that once were and could be again. This pleasant suburban neighborhood was once a forest and provided habitat for deer, foxes, porcupines, and a host of other plants and animals. Today, despite policies encouraging urban intensification, our cities are still expanding. As a result, more of Ontario's land base could be devoid of trees. To break this cycle, we need to recognize that urban forests are an integral component of the mosaic of forests throughout the province. Urban forests contribute to the same ecological functions as rural forests do. And they do it right where it's needed most, in cities where these functions have been the most degraded. It's a pretty inhospitable environment for trees. Uh, so that's a major challenge. In most cases, the trees are planted in soils that barely resemble soils. They've been They've been dug up and shifted and polluted and compacted and, and so on. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a very difficult way, a very difficult place to, to grow roots. If you can't grow roots, you can't grow the tree that provides those benefits that, that, that we're looking for from, from the urban forest. So that means we have to be able to communicate with uh, the people who are uh, developing the built environment, the engineers, the planners, uh, uh, construction crews, and so on, uh, to be able to make, as urban forest stewards, to be able to make the case that it's important that we have this growing environment for trees, something that will give them that, that much uh, more of a leg up, if you will, to provide those benefits. <laughs> Across Ontario, cities and small towns are waking up to the importance of their urban trees. The damage caused by the ice storm of 1998, and more recently the destruction caused by the emerald ash borer, activated citizens to create and support urban forest advisory committees. One small town that's made a name for itself in the urban forest community is Carleton Place. This is one of our natural environment areas right here. We call it Hackberry Park. It's got about 50 well, small town Ontario do not have the expertise uh, on staff. The and what you're seeing right across the province right know, now is registered professional foresters and certified arborists getting involved in urban forest committees, working with councils and also with the staff Canada, within their communities. One of the important things that we do here is we collect the seed from here. Some of the things we're extremely proud of in Carlton Place is the, our homeowner subsidized tree planting program where we have workshops with the homeowners teaching them how to plant trees but more important how to maintain those trees. This work is extremely important to increase the forest canopy in a town of Carlton Place and we know climate change is coming and trees and urban forest are going to be very important in these small communities. Let's start working through the tally sheet here now. We've, we've, we've recorded this. 
Urban forests are an opportunity to expand Ontario's forests while providing a wealth of non-timber economic and social benefits. Municipalities, volunteer organizations, and individuals can participate in both conservation and forest production. By bringing the forest to the people instead of the other way around, urban forests make trees and their ecosystems part of everyone's everyday life regardless of where they live.